Welcome to this video where we're going to have a look at the reason why things like planets, stars, sun moons are round in shape or spherical and they're not any other sort of shape that they could be. So why are they actually round? When we have a look into the sky we can see that all planets are round. All of our planets in our solar system are round. So you've got Earth there, Jupiter, Venus. They're all pretty much round or very close to being a sphere in shape. Stars are as well. So you get much, much bigger in size, then your stars are of a similar shape as well. So they're much, much bigger, but still, they follow that sort of the same shape. Moons as well. So our moon, some of Jupiter's moons, Saturn's moons, these are also round or spherical in shape as well. So it happens on a range of different scales, smaller scales, larger scales, and even minor planets. So these are objects that are obviously smaller than planets, they're not designated as being a planet. You've got Pluto here and Ceres. These are minor planets that are still spherical. So fairly small objects that are spherical. So what's causing that to actually happen? Well, once they get to a certain size, there's enough gravitational force there that can mold them into a spherical shape. So it's pulling equally from the edge to the center and it creates this kind of equal or this symmetrical shape of a sphere because it's all pulling down equally it overcomes the internal strength of whatever it's made from and it only happens when it gets to a certain size so when they get large enough that gravitational force will overcome the strength of the material that's actually made of and it will become spherical or round so it happens at a certain size and it depends on what the material is actually made of so it will go from more like a potato shaped here to a more spherical shape once it gets to enough, a large enough size that gravity can overcome that. Now for an icy object it's thought to be around about 400 kilometers and a good example of that is Mimas. So Mimas is a moon of Saturn and it's just under 400 kilometers in size and it's mostly icy and it's the smallest spherical object we know about in the solar system at the moment and it's pretty much at the limit we expect for an icy object but if it's made of something else so if it was a purely liquid object which would be easier to mold into a spherical shape then you'd likely expect it to be smaller so it becomes spherical or round at a smaller size if it was a much stronger material stronger object you'd expect it to become spherical larger so it could hold out longer until it started to be molded into a spherical shape so it depends on what it's made of as well marmus is there because it's an icy object and it sits about 400, but it could be less and it could be more, depending on what it's actually made from. Now, these are some objects that are less than 400 kilometers in size. Phoebe and Prometheus are both moons of Saturn. And again, they look like potato shaped, really. They're not spherical. They're just not big enough to have enough gravitational force to mold them into a spherical or rounder shape, really. But it's also worth noting that they are not perfect spheres, they're not perfectly round, because they are rotating at the same time. So as they rotate, you'll find that there's an additional force that's going to overcome some gravitational force trying to collapse it at the equator, and it means that the equators are a little bit wider than at the poles, because they're rotating. And the faster they rotate, then the more exaggerated that effect is. So they're not perfect spheres, they do have a slightly wider equator than they are than they are across their poles basically. But it also kind of raises some serious questions for the flat earth model because we have round spherical objects in the sky there, yet for some reason our earth is thought to be flat when it's actually beyond the size that would be required to mould it into a sphere. So I'll leave you with that. So thank you for watching and if you enjoyed then you can check out some of the other videos.